Becoming familiar with the Word Program window will make it much easier to do your work. In this lesson, we'll explore the major elements of the Word window. Let's get started. In Step 1, I'll start Microsoft Word, and after a moment, the Word Program opens on your screen, displaying this blank document. The blinking vertical line here at the top of the document window is called the insertion point, and it simply tells you where text will appear when you type. In step two, I'll move the mouse pointer around the document. As you can see, the mouse pointer changes depending on where you move it. For instance, this I-beam pointer is the one you'll see the most, since it's used for moving the insertion point and for selecting text. Be sure to see table A1 in your book for an explanation of the mouse pointers you'll see most often. In step three, I'll go up to the ribbon and simply point to the bold icon. When I do that, a screen tip appears. A screen tip identifies the name of the button or feature you're pointing to. And you'll also notice that the screen tip provides a brief description of the command, along with a reminder of the shortcut key that you can use instead of clicking the button. In this case, the keyboard shortcut is Control-B. As I point to some of the other buttons here in the font group, you can see the various different screen tips that are a great way to learn about the commands. Up here at the top of the window, you'll find the title bar, which displays the name of the document. And until you save a document under a different name, Word gives it this temporary name, Document 1. Over here at the right, you'll find the standard Windows resizing buttons and the program close button. And here on the left, you'll find the quick access toolbar, which contains buttons for saving documents and for undoing or repeating an action. And this button allows you to customize the Quick Access Toolbar to include your favorite commands. Those commands with the check beside their name will appear on the toolbar. The ribbon shows the tabs that are available in Word, and to display a different tab, all you need to do is click its name. Each tab relates to a different type of activity. For example, the Page Layout tab has commands that let you control how a document is laid out visually. The Commands tabs are further organized into groups. The Home tab, for instance, includes Clipboard, Font, Paragraph, Styles, and Editing groups. Each of these groups contains buttons related to that particular task. Here on the far right, the question mark represents the Word Help System. On the far left, at the end of the ribbon, the File tab takes you to Backstage View. Backstage View displays commands for saving, opening, and closing files. The Info tab let you control who can open and edit a document. You have access to recent documents you've been working on. You can create a new document based on a template. You can also prepare a document for printing. And you have a variety of options for sharing your documents with colleagues. The Help tab provides another easy way to access the Office Help System. And the Options button? It opens the Word Options dialog box, allowing you to fully customize the way you use Word. The current document is always displayed here in the Document window. This is where you enter text and format your document. If you don't see a ruler here below the ribbon, just go to the View menu and check next to the ruler. To display the ruler. The horizontal ruler across the top of your screen shows the right margins and the
the left margins. It also displays any tab settings or any paragraph indents that you may have set. The vertical roller displays the top margin and if I scroll down the bottom margin of the document. And to scroll, I just use the scroll box over here on the right hand side of the screen. I can use the arrow to move up and this arrow to move down. At the bottom of your document, you'll see the status bar. On the status bar, it will display the page numbers. So I have a current page of one of one pages. It will display the word count for the current document. I have two words in this document. And it will also display the status of spelling and grammar check. Over here on the right hand side, I have different views that I can see. We are currently in the default view of print layout. But I can also go to full screen reading view, web layout view, outline view, and draft view. The majority of your time will be actually be spent working in print layout view. The zoom button down here on the right shows the current zoom percentage. We are currently at 100%. And if you drag this slider or either use the minus or the plus, I can zoom in and I can zoom out depending on what I want to see in my document. Those are the major elements of the Word program window. To explore them yourself and learn some additional tips and to see the table on common mouse pointers, turn to page Word 4 in your book.